Hey folks, how's it going? I'm in my backyard with the kayak. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little review and my thoughts on it. It's actually a pretty good vessel. It's a Pelican Challenger 100 XP. I believe it's 10 feet long. It's pretty stable. Um, I'm not sure the width on it and it's fairly light. I can lift it up with one hand if I wanted to. The handles are great on it. When I was originally looking for my kayak, I was pretty sold on getting my handles molded into the kayak, but these are riveted in and they feel pretty sturdy. So I'm pretty satisfied with them. Uh, yeah, but like I said, the kayak's 10 feet long. It's got these little feet rests for you. I only use these two right here mainly. So I'm thinking about maybe modifying this somehow so I don't have to have these two because they can kind of get in the way or annoying when I'm out there for long periods of time to kind of dig into my calf and it's not too pleasant but I'm still kicking that idea around you know in my head and trying to figure out how I can you know avoid it or figure out an alternative to it so uh, up here at the front you got this little storage area you can put your life vest there or keep it to hold your paddle steady um, also here on the front right next to the cut or the footrests are these ram mounts or scotty mounts i don't know what exactly they're called um but they're a nice little tool so you can hold stuff like you can put another fishing rod holder right here or you can put uh like a fish finder mount right there or you can put a gopro pole or even a flag so that way people can see you a lot better so there's a lot of things that you can, I guess, modify or enhance the kayak with. So that's kind of fun. And I still got to figure out what I'm exactly going to put it to use with. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, leave a comment. Um, maybe you guys do something that you guys find it's more effective. So uh, I'd love to hear about it. Um, up here you have this little, I guess this is hold. This is meant to hold your phone. You can use a strap to keep it secure. I don't really trust it too much. I guess I would use it more for like a water bottle or something. Uh, you guys can see right here, here are the two scupper holes in the front. I believe there's six scupper holes total. There's two in the front, two in the middle, and then two in the rear. Um, but now that we're in the middle, I wanna address this chair. This is an awesome setup. It's uh, the Pelican chair. It's called the Ergo Coast. It's super comfortable. I actually have a little kayak cushion that's about $60 that I use and it's super comfortable and it's really worth it guys I highly recommend if you guys spend lots of time out on your kayaks and you guys are looking for something to make it even more better that that's something that I would uh, look into 100% again it's a kayak cushion with the uh, cushion being spelled with a K and the seat itself is actually comfortable I have this rubber seat that I got from Dick Sporting Goods that I use and a little piece of foam that I put on there just to add more comfort I mean I have these things laying around my house so I figure I might as well use them and yeah guys it's a lovely chair I highly you know I'm satisfied with it it's really cool uh, the chair is actually held in by these two little clips I guess you can uh, use it you can clip it in and it pretty good being you know stable you don't really find yourself moving or sliding around or anything it's really nice and then in the back here I want to point out that you have this little clip that you can use this little elastic cord to clip into and keep that from stable but like one of the first times I did that I had a fish get underneath there and I kind of regretted doing that because I wasn't able to get more space so ever since then I kind of left that undone but if you guys want to use it, go for it. You know, that's why it's there. And, uh, yeah, this is something I've ran into. So, also talking about this chair, you have these two pockets right here. You can put your trash, you can put your tackle, you can put practically anything. And they're pretty deep and they're pretty, you know, flexible. So, they're not like, you know, super, uh they're not super uh like rigid or they're not super like you know i mean they are sturdy but they're not they're, they're not going to restrict you is what i'm trying to say which i love so that's the chair it's awesome the handles are awesome they got these little elastic bands these little bungee cord type material to keep your paddle in on both sides which i love um sometimes i'll put a rod 
there or I'll use that to keep the rod stable um, something you know that I have learned over the years on top of that back here we have two rod holders that came with the kayak I kind of love them um, they're not too hard to find especially if you use your finger to see where they're at first and then you can kind of slip your rod in it's not too difficult um, yeah I'm trying to think that they, they don't really hold water too much so you don't really have to worry about uh, your handles getting too wet or not that that's even really a big an issue but it's just something you know that I've noticed in the past with my other kayaks and finally back here in the back portion of the kayak there's this little storage area you have this little clip situation that you can uh give me a moment see if I can do it with one hand I'd be impressive if I could all right there we go so you clip it and then you can uh, you know put it like this and then you can attach it to the other side I don't really have enough space to do it with one hand but yeah you guys can see if there's one on the other side and then you can do it over here and then you can pretty much store anything back there and I think I'm, I'm thinking about putting a milk crate back there to hold more rods and hold a, maybe an anchor and some other items but right now I'm just fiddling around with it and trying to figure out a good system so we got storage and then like I said you got two more scupper holes making six total and uh, it's all stable and I don't really notice water coming up so much it definitely helps the water drain obviously and it keeps the craft a lot more stable so i keep them open and free but yeah guys i'm pretty satisfied with this kayak overall it's pretty awesome like i said i got it from academy sporting goods and it was originally 500 dollars, but it was on sale for 350 and my dad's a veteran so we we're able to use his discount to get a little bit more off so i couldn't really ask for a better situation when it comes to that uh Lastly here, there's this little plug that you can uh, drain your kayak with. I don't think I have any water in it. I lifted it up just before this and I didn't feel any swishing or anything in there. So I think it's pretty, you know, sealed pretty nicely. My old kayak, I'd get water in there constantly and I wouldn't be able to get it out, it felt like. I don't even know why. Like, I would even ask my dad to help me drain it and flip it over and it was just, I don't know, it just felt impossible. But this one, I don't even feel any water in there. It's pretty nice and solid. I'm just looking at everything, trying to think if I missed anything. I think that's it. Like I said, the storage in the front is pretty awesome. The side mounts here, they can be awesome. I haven't really found a use for them yet. The chair is phenomenal. I mean, if you go ahead and add the cushions, you're just setting yourself up for success and the handles are fantastic the back two rod holders are easy to find and they don't contain water as much as other ones do that I have used in the past and yeah this little back section here this is sometimes where I keep like a life vest or something I don't know I'm still like trying to decide to keep it in the front or in the back I know people yeah, they probably would say in the front because it's easier to get get access to I understand I'm also playing around the idea of actually just slipping it over this so that way you know if I ever feel like I'm in a challenging situation whether I'm dealing with wakes or you know in a real stumpy area I'll be able to just literally slip it right on so yeah again I'm still learning still a process still trying to figure out what I like what I don't like what can make it better so Yep, this is just my thoughts and opinions so far. Once again, this is the, Pel the Pelican Challenger 100 XP. I don't think if you go on the website, I don't know if I said this earlier, that the website doesn't have it listed as the Pelican Challenger 100 XP. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it under that. You may find like a different kayak because they do have something similar. It's called the Pelican Challenger, not the XP version. I'm not sure what XP stands for, but uh, if you go on the website, it'll be called the Pelican Sentinel. So if you guys are interested in doing your research on there, go for it. But yeah, guys, it's a lovely kayak, and I can't wait to have more adventures with it. Alrighty folks, I'm back. I flipped over the kayak, got it leaning up, and 
I want to show you guys a little modification I did. I'm not sure if it's completely necessary. I'm kind of, uh, I guess, like OCD when it comes to my things. And I like to keep my stuff in good condition if I have the ability to control that. So what I went ahead and did was I purchased, like, I guess two rolls of the flex tape. It was one roll of five and another roll of five foot. And I just did the whole bottom where I think it would get a lot of contact. Um, the back here is getting pretty scratched up early on, so I might have to go back with another roll just to add more protection. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really affect it, honestly. It doesn't, like, I guess, add more drag. And uh, I, it really gives me peace of mind, I guess, is what I'm trying to say when I'm dragging the kayak up on the concrete boat ramp or when I'm bringing it across, you know, kind of rough terrain. Whether that actually be in the water or if I'm dragging it to my truck or something. Um, because, you know, some of these little ponds have, uh, like, trees and logs and things that I can kind of rough it up. I mean, it's not too much where it's going to puncture anything, but I just like having peace of mind that I'm keeping it in good, in good shape and good condition. But, yeah. Um, I was about to flip it over, but I'll give you guys one last look. Here's the... The strip I put on and you guys can see the skips the six scupper holes that I pointed out earlier again you can plug those if you want I don't think it's necessary but yeah just some more information on the kayak what's going on folks I just flipped over my kayak and I threw on my little kayak crate to show you what I made in the past hour or so this is a little milk crate that I had laying around in my garage and I had these two rod holders available as well so I took some zip ties and I fastened them on it's pretty sturdy honestly I'm pretty surprised actually that they're not sliding around like I thought they would I thought maybe I'd have to run something up here or maybe like a bungee a bungee cord or something but overall it's really sturdy I mean I guess I could lift it up with this but I don't feel like it's necessary there's handles on this thing and that's what it's meant for but yeah as of right now I'm still trying to play around with the arrangement of the elastic cords over here and how I think it'll be the most efficient once I'm out in the water um, I may just have it you know just kind of free and have it just kind of be able to shift it around but then again I also don't want it to fall over and lose everything so again I'm still kicking around ideas so if you guys have any suggestions on this and if you guys do something similar let me know and I'll definitely take it in consideration but yeah, this is the little kayak crate that I'm working on as a project. I got two rod holders right here. I have two more in the actual kayak. So I'll be able to have four rods on here. I only have three at the moment that I have access to. So I think I'm covered on that front. I'm also considering putting one of those little like boat caddies, I believe they're called. And it's a little like holder that uh, you can get like a cup holder or you can get it a few... Uh, designed a few different ways and I'm going to probably just zip tie them to this as well once I get that in the mail I bought it off Amazon for like 8 bucks it's not the color I want so I'll probably go out and go buy some spray paint and make it the color I want but all the other options were like 25 30 50 dollars and it's just outrageous so I went with the cheapest option and I'm just going to do some arts and crafts time with it make it how I want it actually so yeah guys that's just where I'm at with my kayak had a few of you guys have questions about it so I figured I'd address it um, yeah like I said this kayak crate is looking pretty neat so far I can't wait to use it tomorrow I'll probably be able to get out on the river and really get to test it like I said I'm in love with this kayak it's really nice especially for the price I got it for um, it's about 10 foot long it's super light actually you think it'd be heavy but especially if you remove the chair I can lift it up with one hand actually and it's not too much of a struggle um so that's really nice I haven't really had to use my I have a, like a little cart that I can slip underneath this and wheel it anywhere I want if I had to go like a long distance but it's been so light that it hasn't really been necessary and I'm like I said I'm really enjoying this kayak uh, I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I had one of my followers reach out to me and ask me about the, the chair. And it, he made a good point that it is actually kind of high for compared to normal kayaks. It uh, 
sits up, I don't know, maybe a couple inches from the actual kayak itself. So there's a lot of separation in here and you could probably put like maybe a, a Plano box or something underneath there or you could put a like sunscreen or any really thing that you want to put under there. It's got some space and it, it keeps you a keeps you pretty dry. I haven't really gotten wet, haven't felt any water come up there yet and uh, I'm really satisfied with this the chair and the kayak and how it's all set up so hopefully I addressed pretty much everything you guys have been asking about if I haven't reach out to me leave me a comment and I'll try to make another video addressing that or at least be able to comment on that or reply to that comment and uh, fill you in on the information that I have but yeah guys i'm hoping you guys are enjoying the video so far i know i'm having a lot of fun down here it's still a learning process honestly i've been to that river like maybe 10 times total so i'm still i'm still trying to figure out the patterns to get dialed in and uh my father's coming out there with me a little bit more so he's getting more comfortable we went out yesterday as a matter of fact and we caught some crappie i caught a bass and it was a really good day actually we went to some areas that we never went to uh, even in my kayak and when me and my dad went there last week we kind of only fished half of the the body of water there so we, we kind of jumped to where we left off and we fished the other end and it was a lot of fun and again just really cool being able to learn more about this body of water and figure out things so uh yeah guys if you guys are liking the content leave me a comment so i know you know to keep it up and uh if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, as always, keep casting.